Welcome back to Access Carolina. With the growing art community where we live, there's no shortage of creative and talented people for us to highlight and learn from. We've got artist Kimberly Easter of Kim Easter Art and of Wild Hair Gallery here with, with a lesson for us. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Thanks for having um, me. First, I know that you're primarily a wildlife artist. Um, I am. Talk about your style and what, what drives you and what you create. I'm always interested in nature and wildlife. That's my happy place. Mm -hmm. And I paint animals either domestic or endangered. Yeah, and, and you sent some, some pictures of your art, but really, you know, beautiful stuff. And this is something you're very passionate about and you love to teach. So yes. for us today, you're gonna put on an abbreviated acrylics class right here in the studio. Yes. What, what are we gonna learn how to do? This is more of a Valentine paint and sip that mm -hmm. we would do at the Wild Hair. Yep. And so we're doing a Van Gogh Valentine. Okay. So we're going to take our brushes and out of our water, dip them on the edge, and then pick, uh, let's take lavender, and all we're gonna do is follow the lines that are already there in little, long, skinny strokes. Just go the same direction that's already there with your lavender, and you can do the next swoop, like the swoops in the Van Gogh painting. If you need paint, stick your brush down there and pull the tip. And just in any, Mm -hmm. In any order where I see yeah. some need for in the some same, lavender paint. In the same, same direction, direction as your strokes are going. All right, so far so good. So in your uh, sip and paints, tell me about uh, who comes and shows up and, and what kind of fun is had when people sign up for these classes and do this actively well, we're, together. We're very lucky. We have 12 to 15 local artists at any time in the gallery, mm -hmm. and half of those teach. So really? we, yeah, so we have classes on acrylics. I'm teaching a very, very beginning watercolor class starting last week. Uh, we have photography, we have weaving, anything that the artist can come up with. Oh, that's so fun. And I, I think people bond over art. It, it, people are talking and they're trading ideas and they're letting that creative energy comes out. What do you tell people who think, you know, maybe I'm not much of an artist, but almost all of our classes are aimed at beginners. Uh -huh. And almost all of our classes have supplies included. So you don't have that outlay of $300 and maybe I don't like it. There you go. So, <laughs> so not much of a commitment there and no. you end up having a lot of fun. Um, what's, your, what's your favorite kind of class to teach? I'm sure you know, you, you've got a lot of areas. Whenever you're ready, you can switch to pink. Okay. Um, I, I prefer teaching the beginning acrylic and, and oil classes. Mm -hmm. uh, we, one thing we learned in COVID was we really enjoy small classes anymore. So yeah. a lot of our classes are only three or four people or we'll do a class for a family. And you probably get more one-on-one -on -one attention, obviously, you in a do. smaller group. You're, you're not in a sea of people just trying to follow a direction. But that's what we learned when things were crazy. We got to spend more time with our students and enjoy them. Yeah. And so uh, I do a, a resin class once a month where you do the poured resin on a cheese platter. And um, it's a very small class. And I really enjoy it now. I would say so. And I'm sure, I mean... Anybody who's doing what they love, that's what we find on here. When we talk to people who get to do what they love for a living, that's, mm -hmm. that's just the rewarding thing. Um, it is. Anything else you want people to understand about just uh, what goes in your work or, or Wild Hair Gallery itself, what makes that place so unique? It's a really nice place. The Traveler's Rest is a, a unique place, and the talent there is amazing. They, mm -hmm. you know, they had years of being kind of shut off, mm -hmm. um, a little far out of Greenville, which they aren't anymore. But that makes creativity. So we are never short on talent. Yeah, and, very good. Uh, we we love being part of our community. Well, speaking of talent, I'll, I'll switch to a different color. I know you've got a reception coming up for a few we talented. Do artists and the and the details of that reception um it's coming up uh, steve seagal and joe gordon mm -hmm. um happening thursday february 16th from five to seven this is a drop-in with light refreshments um what can we expect from that event what happens at one of these drop-ins that's this thursday it's a very low key people come out right out of work and you meet the guest artists and a lot of our uh, studio artists and gallery artists will be there. So it's just a, a meet and greet. It's very informal. It's very fun. Okay. And um, next month we will have a competition that will be there for 
the March one. All right, very cool. Well, I think uh, a lot of people want to get involved in these classes. I mean, you, you make it so, so fun, and it's such a neat community. So Wild Hair Gallery, located at 212 North Poinsett Highway in Traveler's Rest. Um, and Kim, for anybody who wants to follow you, they check out the website, uh, kimeasterart.com. We're linking that to ours at accesscarolina.com. Thank you. Too. Kim, thank you very much. We thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here. And uh, yeah, those, those turned out really great. We're sending it over to meteorologist <laughs> Catherine Noel. What, what do you think? Impressed. So impressed. Yeah. I think I, it's cool. It's it's no 